Hi, it's Lucy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to help you to establish whether or not your child is actually overtired. So stick around because I'm going to take you through the steps you can take to understand if your child is overtired and what you can do about that if that is the case. Okay, so is your child overtired? Is your little one overtired? And does it even matter if they are? Well, let's start with that one. It really does matter. Overtiredness is the main reason that you will see difficulty with your little one settling to sleep, disturbed sleep, so lots of wakings and just that kind of light sleep that's disruptive, and also early waking, waking up early for the day, starting the day too soon. All of those are typical repercussions of being overtired. And I know that sounds crazy because we would think that if they're really tired, they would just sleep, right? But no, the opposite is actually true. And so these effects of overtiredness, not only are they probably a little bit annoying for you and disruptive and possibly disturb you and maybe other members of the family sleep as well, they also have a big impact on children and little ones. So, you know, your child's brain development, for example, is a really important thing that will be affected through lack of sleep or through this disturbed sleep. The deep quality nourishing sleep that they really need is um, absolutely vital for their brain development as well as their health, their immune system and all the other benefits that go with good sleep too. So it does matter. What can you do? Well, how do you recognize if your child even is overtired? That's what we're, we're answering today. How do you recognize it? You might have some clues with indications other than those repercussions I mentioned, indications are like being fractious, clingy, just groggy, perhaps a bit unsociable, just not in the most cheerful and contented spirits. You know, those are kind of obvious signs that a little one is overtired and they just really seem to be a bit, you know, out of sorts. You often can tell, you see things like eye rubbing and you can often look at their face and see when they are really, really tired as well. So those are indicators for sure. And they're things you can observe and that you can see. But the other thing that you can do to help determine whether your child is overtired, is actually to, to know, knowledge is power, to know what does ideal sleep look like for their age and developmental stage. For instance, did they ought to be having a certain amount of daytime sleep? Are they getting those naps in? Um, and if they are, are they long enough? Are they deep and nourishing? Or are they short cat naps that are shallow? And you know, they're doing something, but maybe they're not doing enough. Are they awake for too long in between sleeps? We call those wake windows. Are those wake windows too long for them at this age and developmental stage? And this is where you cannot use your baby or your child as a guide post for this because they will have you believe that they're fine. They will have you believe that they can be awake for five hours when really the optimal time is actually two and a half. <laughs> so um, understanding what that optimal time really is for your little one and helping them to get their sleep when it actually is going to be more beneficial for them is uh, really going to help you move forward with this. So uh, knowing knowing what that sleep ought to look like, how much do they really need overall, in what um, sleeps should that come in? Is it naps, night sleep? What does it all need to look like? And then with that knowledge, you can actually work on that, which is something I'm going to help you out with in my next episode. So look out for that because coming up next is um, all about actually spotting it, actually spotting where the overtiredness is coming from so that you can resolve it. So I'd love to see you in that one. In the meantime, if you have any questions or would like help getting your child to sleep, then please do reach out to us at The Sleep Nanny and have a look around this video. You'll see there will be a link to give you a really helping, a great helping hand um, to get things moving today. So have a look for that link and I uh, can't wait to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag TheSleepNanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.